Mustangs, I'm your host, Kaylin Victor. And I'm Ani Oppression. Welcome to season eight of The Main. Today, we'll be covering the writer's strike, taking Hollywood by storm, a new local business, and Mic'd Up is back. But first, let's hear some tips for freshmen from Zoe Roundtree. Hey class of 2027, there's a lot that you should know. So here's Freshman 101. Do you ever feel like you need extra help, time to rest, or just be able to chat with your friends? Well, that's why we have Mustang 30 time here at Matia on Wednesdays after our second period. Visit efficiency.org to sign up for M30. This year, Matia has added some study spaces that can be used during blended classes, access periods, and lunch periods. And finally, clubs and sports. Here at Matia, we have over 60 clubs offered and plenty of sports for all athletic levels. Get involved with all we have to offer here. Um, my biggest piece of advice for freshmen would be to get involved early, uh, whether that's attending a sporting event or finding a club. Um, and just, just find something to get involved with to get you connected to the school. And lastly, focus on academics. Um, academics are extremely important and what you're doing now as a freshman is going to impact where you are when you get to the end when you're a senior. And this is Zoe Roundtree for The Main. Currently, the entertainment industry is using their voice to push for a long-awaited change. Akshith Ringaraju gives us more. Hollywood actors voted to authorize a strike. SAG after SAG after strike. Actors are one step closer to joining screenwriters on the picket line. And the writers' union lashed mm -hmm. out. Has your favorite show recently been pushed back or canceled? Well, it might have to do with the ongoing writers and actors strike. As of mid-July, SAG-AFTRA, or the Screen Actors Guild and the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists took to the picket lines to voice their issues about unfair pay, lack of protection against AI, and health and retirement benefits. Protesters are asking for a 11% increase in wages as many have reported that their income barely pays bills and puts food on the table. We asked some of our fellow Mustangs involved in acting and media their opinions on this situation. Hi, my name is Kevin Paul. I'm a senior here and I'm an ITS officer, which means I lead drama club. I'm also engaged in the fall play, spring musical, um, and our speech team. I'm Sarah Holzman. Um, I'm a senior. I'm the managing editor for the Stampede this year. We do a lot of reviews, um, specifically on shows, and without actors and writers, we wouldn't have those. You know, I think what they're doing is important because they work really hard and I feel like a lot of our entertainment wouldn't exist without actors and writers. To be honest, I do think that the acting profession is um, kind of tough to get into and sustain um, as a career, but regardless, I know what, what they're asking for are really basic things and it's something that um, it should be given to them by um, the people in power. I just think that we should support like people with what they're doing because um, none of us really know what it's like to be on that end and to work in a job that doesn't support us or like respect what we're doing even though what we're doing is the most important part. Um, I'm hoping for both the actors and writers union and the um, people in power come to agreement as soon as possible. This is Akshay Dringaraju for The Main. Mm, I could really go for some donuts right now. <gasps> Me too, Duncan? No, let's grab a bite at Duck Donuts. Hi, my name is Marcus Dawson. I'm the store manager here at Duck Donuts. We are located in Naperville, right off 59 and 95th. Our store hours right now is Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, Friday, Saturday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m and Sunday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Here at Duck Donuts, we sell milkshakes, we have coffee, breakfast sandwiches, and obviously we do sell donuts as well. That's our main focus point. Our donuts are $2.75 per donut. If you want half a dozen, it's $15. And for a dozen, it's $24. We fry them here fresh. We don't make the donuts until you make the order. That's why they're made to order. We kind of mix the dough, and after we mix the dough, we put them into this, this thing called a hopper, where the hopper shoots out the donuts, and the donuts, we have to fry them, the donuts come out. So we let them cool down a little bit. After let them cool down, we top the donuts. I would say my favorite donut is the bacon in the sun. It's kind of crazy to have bacon on a donut, but it actually tastes good. Then we have our new fall assortments. I really like the apple cobbler. Those, I would say, are by far my favorite. But I see a lot of people that come in, you know, they ask for either the boardwalk, the sunrise, the maple bacon, cookies and cream, peanut butter paradise. It's a, it's a lot. <laughs> for the main, this is Kaylin Victor. Next up, Ani Pression highlights the importance of local animal shelters. 
Animal shelters are the unsung heroes of our community, working tirelessly to give animals a safe home in their time of need. We have a lot of routines um, and like a schedule that um, our staff and volunteers follow. Um, so all of our animals are um, socialized every day by our great volunteers. We also bring animals into our offices while we're working and we allow our volunteers to take the animals home sometimes for like a day out of the shelter. Um, we do try to give them as much love and care as possible. There are many ways to get involved with shelters near you. I first became aware of Puppy Mills when I was about 16 and I was too young to volunteer at the shelter so I convinced my mom to let me become a foster, let us become a foster and I started doing some fundraising work. ADAPT has been around for 35 years and they've saved over 30,000 animals, so it's a really good, reputable organization. We have an event coming up on October 8th at Solemn Oath Brewery, and then we're going to have more events coming up during the holiday season. Adopting, rather than shopping, is vital to promoting animal safety. Every year millions of animals are euthanized, and it's due to no fault of their own. Um, we just there are too many and not enough spaces for them. When you adopt an animal from here, then you're also making space for another animal um, to come that we can rescue. Things kind of opened up after the pandemic. Shelters have been struggling nationally with a lot more animals coming in and are being adopted out. Um, and so now is a great time to become a foster or think about adoption. For the main, this is Ani Impression. Isa Pope includes Matias student voices on the topic of feminism. As women, we lead diverse lives in an effort to ensure our safety. This stems from a lack of perceived protection and comfort within our surroundings. On a global scale, some societies present even greater challenges, where women are denied education or the freedom to dress as they please. Women aren't equal, and they never have been. Feminism isn't about making men feel weaker or making us better. It's about making us all equal. No. No. I try not to, but like most of the times I have to. It's, I guess it's more like the more there are, then the more I feel inclined to move. Yes. No. No. Even if I had like my dogs with me, I feel like someone could easily come at me and I probably wouldn't be able to defend myself. Like no one would be in the area to make sure that I'm safe or like help me. No. Yeah. Yeah, I was at the mall with a friend. And these group of like middle-aged men decided to pull up and scream at us. It was just like out of nowhere and we were just trying to go to the mall. As a man, feminism is about accepting the fact that I have a voice as someone who's in a position of privilege and uh, using that voice to empower and bring up those who don't necessarily have a voice, those who maybe haven't always been able to speak their minds and uh, speak up for what they believe in. Would help people to feel more comfortable, um, you know, just doing basic daily things. It would just help people feel more, you know, comfortable doing things. Thank you for watching the first episode of The Main. If you want to see more of our content, head over to our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. If that isn't enough, follow us on Instagram at Matia Main. From all of us here at Media Production, stay, stay amazing. amazing! And then... <laughs>